Okay, first make sure we don't have any jobs running, then click the calibrate button. Up here we're going to choose the plane, because we're calibrating the plane media family. And instead of drawer 2, we're going to use the same 11 by 17 that we use for auto gradation. And this one's already selected for our x right i1 Pro 2 measurement device. Paper's going to come out the back end. And make sure you have that media loaded ahead of time, by the way, otherwise that won't show up as an option for you. There's our sheet full of chip charts. I have a surface prepared already with a few sheets underneath it. We want to make sure that there's a, a clean white background behind this sheet so that you don't pick up any background color and uh, skew your measurements. Up on the screen, uh, we can see that it's printed. Click OK. The screen will advance next to um, the measurement device and it'll prompt you to make sure that the device can see its white ceramic chip right there. There's a little slide cover. If you don't see that, just slide it open. Press that side button and release it. That'll communicate with the, uh, with the controller. And now we are ready to scan. So move it back over in front of uh, the first row. It'll indicate as such, as uh, I think it's A, B, C, and D. Yeah, it is. So press and hold, and then drag it all the way to the end. And you'll notice um, you got the there's a light at the top there. It is blue when it's ready for the next. It flashes green briefly at the bottom to make sure, just to confirm to the user that that row was successful. If it was unsuccessful, those lights would flash red. Now, there's a little bit of a technique that I prefer to use, and that is to make sure that that device flows feet first down the sheet. The reason for that is we don't want those two feet to lose contact with the sheet, because if they do, that means you're, lightly, you're letting light leak in underneath that sensor, and you'll give yourself a false read, and you won't know it. The machine will just adjust itself based on that bad read. Now, go ahead and continue here. This screen, I like to view measurements because I want to see how hard the fire is working to calibrate itself. We can turn off a few of these eyeballs to make these easier to see. And those are fine. We'll just click OK and close. And that is the end.